guys, what's going on? It's with it. Um, I'm gonna do a shave review with uh, Mickey Lee Soap Works, the Kraken. Um, I'm gonna be using my uh, Martin 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 uh, custom brush, silver tip, uh, and Billy T Titan straight razor. Uh, first impressions of the soap. It's a very, it's a, I want to say like very new school type of scent to a barber shop. I like it a lot. Scent strength out of the container. It's like a five, five and a half or so. And it's a tallow based soap, which I do enjoy. But uh, I'm going to start getting this bad boy. I'm going to load it up. Squeeze all the water out of my brush. The reason why I'm going to start, uh, uh, the reason why you guys are going to see me load this up is because I'm going to try to con um, try face lathering because I think you can get a little more control with it and you, instead of bowl lathering if that makes any sense. So I hope everyone's having a good week already. I mean, we just got hit with another snowstorm last night into today it wasn't that bad it was only like three inches but still it's there's too much snow i mean there's probably got like six feet of snow out there spring is only three uh 30 days away yeah after loading this up the scent comes out so now we're right now to me it's like a seven a solid seven yeah It's nice and loaded. The, the tips of the brush are pasty, which are good, which is good. Lather it up. So I'm going to start incorporating little, not like in-depth reviews, just little shave reviews. And then also my journey as i said we're gonna i was gonna do with a straight razor i just haven't had time to do videos it's just been like real quick take a shower shave and then head out of here but um i'm gonna do my hardest to really keep it going because technically this is my I, this is like my 10th uh straight razor shave and i'm definitely getting more comfortable i'm starting to find the right angles yeah this soap smells good I'm just gonna add a little more water now I do like my lather to be a little thinner I just think I get a little bit of extra glide with it but everyone's different I mean a lot of people like that thick thick dense lather I just like it I, uh, you know, I like it to be thick, but I also, on a little bit of the wetter side, I guess you could say. All right. Let's get this going. We'll start it up. So first impressions of the soap. It has a really nice cushion, uh, very slick. And the scent does come out once you lather it up.
first pass down and rinse my face off. The soap is really nice. I mean, that slickness is just... I mean, if I was a daredevil, I would try to do a second pass right now with just this, but I'm not going to take that chance. But it is nice and slick. Shaving with a straight razor is definitely, it's a dick. Hmm. I'm happy with that. I don't have to do a third pass or a touch up or anything like that. Nice. The soap really smells good. I want to say maybe a maybe a little cologne, but I like it. I don't even know if cologne is a word. But yeah, it's good stuff. Um, just gonna rinse up and do my post shave. Okay, so for my post shave, instead of using a alum block, I'm gonna use a. The Thayer's uh, Cucumber Witch Hazel with aloe vera in it. it smells just like cucumbers. A second let it dry off then post shave I'm just gonna use the Nivea stuff I know a couple people were asking they saw in the groups you know what's the right way do you put on the po the bomb before the aftershave or vice versa me personally I guess traditionally you put on the aftershave because aftershave is has alcohol which kills everything kills all the germs if you had cuts or whatnot but um <clears throat> what i personally do is i use the bomb first and then i use the aftershave because all of my aftershaves that i have they i double them up as a cologne so that's the reason why i put it on after there's no real science to it it's just it's whatever you prefer and today i'm going to be using the fine platinum i just got this in the mail today smells really good you get a little bit of citrus and a, it smells like a little bit of like like cool water cologne so i'll just put a couple shakes over here Get a nice little, little burn. Nothing crazy. You definitely feel there has to be menthol in it. I don't really look at the ingredients. I mean, I do when I'm shopping for them, but by the time they get here, I kind of forget about it. 
But uh, yeah, it does have menthol in it. But I like this stuff. I mean, all fine aftershave is aftershaves are great. So uh, yeah, guys, that's about it. So uh, my review on Mickey Lee Soap Works the Kraken, great stuff. Um, scent when you get it all lathered up is definitely a seven on my scale. Glide nine, uh, cushion nine. You know, it's just an over, overall great performer, and it's definitely going to be in my rotation. Um, I do like it, and I suggest you guys maybe go out and try it, see what you guys think. And uh, if you guys have it or have your opinions, just let me know and leave some uh, comments down below. All right? Thanks, guys. Have a good day.